Hello folks, welcome to El Canal Channel Jose. Today we're going to talk about the tools that has made our jobs easier because we always talk about how to do this, how well, how we did it, what to replace, how, and all sorts of stuff about repairing the car. But today we're going to share the tools that had made to perform the job faster and to get it done within time matter. So today we got a few tools that we have uh, acquired with time and we're not representing or advertising. We're just using our personal opinion. To begin with, we have the M12 electric ratchet. And what this tool has done is that we have decreased the amount of time on taking a bolt out or putting it in. So this tool, it has a forward and reverse uh, setting. And uh, the thing about it is that once you put the bolt in or the nut, and then the battery dies, you can just take the battery out, replace it with another one that was in your charger, throw this in the charger, and then you can keep on going with your job. So this is made by Milwaukee, but there's other brands out there with these, this kind of tools. And once you buy it, it's gonna be worth it. So that's the M12 hand and electric ratchet. The other ones that we have uh, purchased and have made our jobs easier is uh, extendable ratchet. And we bought this at uh, Harbor Freight. And this is the half inch. And uh, you can go just like a regular ratchet. And you can extend it to make it as a cheater bar as well. And the thing about this is that if it goes bad, we can take it to Harbor Freight and exchange it for another one. So we have the half inch. And we have the 3 eighths and a quarter inch on the other side. And it's extendable as well. So we can always uh, go a little bit longer. And if there's not enough room, we can always use it at the regular length. So we have the 3 8 and the quarter inch. And just like a regular ratchet. And it can be extendable. So another tool that has made our job easier or faster is a ratchet wrench. So these we bought a metric and standard wrenches. Their open wrench on one side and the other side is a ratcheting wrench so you can have to flip on our case we have to flip it to take it off to put it on or take off the bolt or not that we're putting in so where these guys don't go in we can hold it in uh, or use the ratchet to put or take off the bolt so this is another good investment that we have done and it has made our uh, job way faster Sometimes when we have to use open and close end wrenches because this one has a ratchet. So that's one uh, tool that has that we have experienced that has improved our job. So another one that is a little bit more expensive is a M18 uh, impact wrench. Taking wheels off or putting them back on. This one, same thing. You just take the battery out, you put it to charge. And if you have an extra one laying there, you just put it back in and then you can continue on the job. So it used to be where you have pneumatic, you have impact wrenches with a, had to turn on the compressor, run a hose, and then try to get to the job. And sometimes the hoses wouldn't be that long. So sometimes you have to go to a, somebody's house and take off some uh, wheel off or something. So you can just throw this in your car and go to the job and uh, take care of that. More expensive, but it's worth it because these have four, they're really, they have a lot of torque. And you can set a torque uh, setting on it so you don't have to uh, always use that same torque. So they're more expensive, but that has made our job easier because we take bolts and nuts off of the suspension with uh, minimum effort. Another one is this uh, uh, flashlight that we have bought on uh, Amazon. What it does is a band and it, we just throw it on our head and then we just put it on different settings. There's two, two flashlights, a long one in the front and one in the side for more like a spot. And then what we like about this one is that once you turn it on, you can set it for a sensor. So you can swipe your hand in, in the side and it can turn on or off. And if you got greasy hands, you can actually uh, do set it on that and you don't have to get your hair or your hat or that flashlight all greasy. You just swipe your, your uh, hand along the sensor and it will turn off sensor there's the other flashlight 
so pretty handy this there you can find them in uh, amazon and uh, we recommend getting you one of these because this band is pretty light it, it shoots a lot of light and it has two settings brighter and a little bit more dimmer so you can actually finish a job if it's getting dark so even for just around the house this is actually pretty good Another thing that we have acquired and it's been helpful all the time when we're doing mechanical work or even just around the garage when we drop something that is metal is this extendable magnet. So you can actually get a tip to pick up something if you have dropped it or in case you drop something on the engine compartment and it's way down there you can get your hand in there. You get this guy, you uh, get it to the component and then you can get it stuck to the magnet and you can drag it out. So they're pretty handy. These magnets are pretty handy in the mechanical world, or like I said, in your garage, when you drop something between the two boxes and you can reach it, just get that guy and you can actually extract that metal out of there. So pretty handy. Um, they're not that expensive. You can find them in auto parts for like a couple bucks, $5, but trust me, $5 can get you a long ways because these guys are gonna actually help you so you don't have to get out of the position that you're in and try to reach for that bolt or metal that you drop so that's pretty handy no regrets about that another thing that now getting a little bit more into the electrical world of the cars we have a uh, use a test light and what we do is we look for positive and negative these guys so one end you attach it to the ground and the other end you look for in different spots and when there's a light that comes on here that has tell that's telling you that this guy is look this what guy is attached to the ground and this guy has this other tip has found positive so now this lights up so if you you can't see positive within the electrical system this is to help you because if you can't see energy this will find help you find the positive and negative you, the backwards as well. You look, you cook it up to positive and you start looking for ground. So this is very helpful for the electrical world on your car. Another thing is that you have found power, but sometimes you don't know how much power you have found. So a, a multimeter will be helpful because sometimes uh, in our cases, we have found that a dimmer light is uh, in the headlights and we don't, there's power, but we don't know how much voltage so we use a multimeter to find out how much voltage is at the battery, how much voltage is at the other end, because sometimes it could be 12 volts and then at the headlight is getting eight, volt, eight volts, that's why it's dimmer. So we use a multimeter to find if there's a continuity on cables, if it's broken, so or even for fuses to find out if the fuse is burned out. So we use those uh, tools for those kind of scenarios. One thing that we use as well is a spark plug tester. When you're trying to crank a car on and it doesn't respond, we're testing to see their spark being delivered to the spark plug. So in older cars, you would uh, put a screwdriver and the cable and then kind of get it close to the ground and you'll see the arc. So now they made these little simple tools that you can just plug into the cable and then the other end, plug it to the spark plug and then you'll see there was spark being uh, produced by the light bulb uh, turning on so if that happened then you know that there was spark happening this is to give you a visual of what's going on with the spark if there's spark or there's no spark so very helpful for uh when a car don't want to start so another tool that we use is uh, when we have to drain the liquid or the cooling system and we have to replace a water pump a, a hose a radiator or just flush just take out the old coolant and put new coolant. We use what's called the spill-free funnel. They sell these pretty much in Amazon and every and auto parts are starting to sell them. Harbor Freight has them. And what these do is it's a funnel with adapters for your radiator. So instead of just keep adding fluid to the radiator as it drops, you set this guy with the adapter to the radiator cap. You fill it up to halfway, and then you just turn on the engine and the cooling will drop and as it drops you just keep it a half ways full and it's keep burping the air so this guy uses uses gravity and the height becomes the highest point so air comes through it and then he fills it in with the uh, coolant so this guy is very helpful because we have to uh, burp all the air out of the engine so that way we get a really good reading from the sensors and the engine performs better. There's no air pockets caught inside the block and that way it performs, it cools down as it should. So 
the uh, this funnel that we had it for a few years now and it's been working great for us so every time we have to do a job with the draining cooling out this guy goes in to fill back in the system last but not least is a battery charger smaller so this tool has a quick start so you try to start a car and you jump jump it and it has a charging for lithium or regular acid batteries so sometimes you're troubleshooting a car and then the battery so much of trying it you drain the battery down so now you have to take it to a place to get it charged so what we do is we once we have the car resting for a little bit we plug this guy in we charge the battery back up and so that when we come back we can continue troubleshooting that scenario if we're replacing a sensor or something we have this guy charging the battery while we're doing something else so this is keeping our this is eliminating the time of us taking the battery to get it charged somewhere else so we charge it on the spot so we can continue with the job so very helpful so this is a, just a basic tools that we think that are very helpful or has made our jobs eas easier and faster the, um, like we said we're not advertising we're just sharing information and tools that can be useful and if you like some of these tools do your research and buy, buy the brand that you would like or you prefer all of our videos are about how to do it how we did it and what to replace what to look for but we never share the information about the tools and we wanted to take a step back and show you some of the tools that we have use to make some of those jobs easier it's not about having the fancy toolbox it's about having the tools and knowing how to use those tools because a tool as simple as it is if you know how to use it it can be a very very useful tool so with that said folks for our friends who are watching a video haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe if you like the video give us a thumbs up share it and we'll see you soon with more videos here in the canal el chano jose